Alright, what's up guys? Me and Arasadis here. And I'm here with my um, average, uh, what's the name? Adventure Time review on this week's episode, um, James Baxter, The Horse. Now, this, um, this episode was a, one of those weird episodes. It, it was like one of those weird parts of YouTube that you don't like to go into. Excuse me, burps. In a nutshell, what happened in this episode was that, um, Finn and Jake, well, actually, I'll start from the beginning. Bimo was playing with his egg that he, he tried to make a baby with. Then, um, he dropped it. Now, Finn and Jake uh, try to make him laugh, and they failed. Then they see Jake Baxter, which is a horse, um, juggling himself on a beach ball, if I recall. Oh, that rhymes. Ah, yeah. Rapper. <laughs> no. Anyway, so, um, so Jake Baxter makes him laugh. And I've got to say, for Jake Baxter, that's some uh, new animation you got there. I know animation costs a lot of money and it takes more time. So I wonder how they got that done. Yeah, it took a long while to make the, all the um, love episodes of Adventure Time so long. Anyway, so like I was saying, so Jake Baxter makes them laugh. And Finn Jake wants to learn how to do that. Because they don't know how, and they just go around all of the trying to make trying to make everyone who's sad happy. Um, I don't know it by memory of which one happened first, second, and third, but um, they tried to help a little girl. I think that was last. They tried to help a little girl who dropped her, I think, ice cream. And she started crying. They were doing a and it sounded weird. Actually, to me, this whole thing sounded like it was dubstep. Excuse me, pardon my French, but I truly do think that is. If you're, like, someone who loves dubstep and you're gonna, like, criticize and dislike this video just because you say, Oh, no, that's just terrible. What are you talking about? No! And just all kind of like that. Then go ahead, I don't really care. But that kind of sounds like dubstep to me. I like dubstep, don't don't get me wrong. Anyway, so, like, um... So, as I was saying, they do the little girl laugh. I think in the middle, they go to a funeral place. And they try to make the people who are sad about whoever it was that died um, happy. And they fail brutally. And they just have to walk it off because you just ruined a funeral. I'm just saying. You kind of just ruined a whole funeral of a really sad time. I can't remember the first one for the life of me. But anyway, moving on. So what they do is they do a whole crap ton of editing and math and numbers and 2 plus 2. And it's just... All this math I can't even understand. They go to this place where it's like the perfect auto tape room thing place. If you if you actually make videos that are super edited, you know what I'm talking about. One of those areas, like where people, where the rappers go to make their music, like that. And they make their whole song with a whole bunch of crazy technology. They're talking about oh I think we should uh, break this part down, or oh I think we should raise this part up. And through this all, I'm thinking to myself, this is a weird episode, because they're really just kind of ruining other people's lives by making it even worse. And this whole thing, they're just going like, and making all a bunch of weird sounds. And kind of is just weird all together. Around the end of it, um, they go back to the funeral one, and that's the last one that they try to refix. Well, actually, my bad, I skipped a little bit of it. They figure out what, what it, which... Was it that makes the people laugh more? He had to get, um, Jake to turn into a, a trumpet, I think it's called, and a little rolly ball, beach ball, for Finn to juggle himself on. And that's what makes them laugh. He goes to a funeral, makes them laugh. Then the ghost, I mean, not the ghost, the dead body that's in the coffin, literally comes out, not stands out, but just starts freaking out all over the ground. Around their bodies, around Finn and Jake, start twitching out like it was the Exorcist. I mean, this thing scared the living crap out of me. I'm not over overreacting, or maybe I am because I'm a scared cat. But that freaked me out. His body, his whole body was moving like that, and when he was on the ground, just rolling around, rolling around like crazy. Then he gets under Finn. Jake bails. I mean, Jake is out. He's gone. I mean, he runs off the screen. I'm talking to myself, Jake's out, he's out, he's gone, he's at least a mile away by now. 
And what's now? You just sit under a flower. And then the th while it's under a fin, it crawls out and starts um standing up. Then its soul pops out of its body. Sorry, I saw a bird. It's about six All right. Anyway, so like I was saying, the soul pops out of his body and he's angered because now that they ruined his funeral, he's angry, really angry. Once they start fighting, he for a second I thought that the ghost was OP. No, don't get me wrong, the ghost is no way OP because I thought it was OP because when he made that giant dent in the ground, like boom, and scraped it like that. I thought it uh, went all the way down to the center of the earth, but no, it was just like a little crater. Who cares, man? No one, no one cares. Master Chief's better. Get out of here. Anyway, so it's like, um, I got hit a couple of craters, and Finn and Jake end up in the same area at the bad time. Then, this is basically what happens. Um, they get pushed into the little hole. Like, this is Finn and Jake. They just pop them down to that little hole. They're stuck in there now, and he's about to do it again and kill him for this time. And the funny thing is that even though Jake and Finn know that they're going to die, they're like, oh, Jake's like, oh, dude, the only way you can find me, remember this, remember this, remember this. Remember that, and you'll find me. And once I'm thinking to myself, why would you need to know that? And then he explains, oh, yeah, so you can find me in the afterlife. Well, okay, that makes kind of sense. And as he's bringing down the fists, James Baxter appears in the sunlight, sil like silt in the sunlight, looking, looking, um, <clears throat> I didn't hear that. Anyway, so like he starts coming down, you know, like um, he starts coming down on his wheel, making the soul lap, and the soul returns back to his body, and. That's pretty much it for the main run. But they're pretty much happy because they're alive because of Jake Baxter. Now, during the end of this, Jake Baxter pops his little balloon thing down. And he folds it into a hat to put it on and runs into the moonlight. Like, like he was a unicorn or something. I don't understand why. In my opinion, this was a weird, creepy act episode. Um... I remember a comment in my other video, I mean, in last week's, um, review saying that, um, in two weeks, there's gonna be a, there's probably gonna be another Flame Princess episode, and which like, that's what I'm hoping for. So, I'll see about that, and I've got my YouTube schedule together, guys, so I fixed up myself, I got my act together. So, like always, if there's a new episode of A Bunch of Time on, um, what's the name? On Monday, I will obviously do a review on that. Um... I have two new, I have actually I think three things planned. If you're one of my average watchers, you know I have to go do my survivors. Um, this week, um, I'm going to do a, I'm trying to do an operation, operation video, and I'm also trying to do a druggy video. I'm not talking about me doing any drugs, of course I stay away from that. You know, like, um, with a cop busting... Busting a gang and all that. It'll, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. You'll see. I hope to get this done by Sunday. I'm not positive I'll get it done, but I will possibly if I can. Now, what I want you to do is like, favor, and subscribe to me. Um, I bring these every Monday, as I said. I'm an artist, artist, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.